All right, so I'm going to be showing you all how to import PBR textures into Roblox Studio because I haven't seen a video that's explained this in simple terms, so I'm going to try to do that. Uh, so first we're going to go to ambientcg.com, explore. Uh, yeah, you can pick any of these textures. I already have one picked out. It'll click. All right, so when you click on the texture you want, it's going to have all of these. Sometimes it only has 4K and 8K along with 1 and 2, but yeah. Anything past 4K, that's not going to work in Roblox Studio. Only 1 and 2K will work. Uh, it's going to have JPEG and PNG. They're basically the same thing, just JPEG is smaller of a file. So I personally recommend you download JPEG instead because... Is unnecessarily big. So you want to click download, click the download in the left hand corner. <coughs> all right, so this should pop up. Sort view, extract all. So we're going to press extract all, extract. All right, and this is really important because if you don't extract the file, it'll still be zipped up and you won't be able to use it. So I don't really know how to explain that in simpler terms, but yeah, that's pretty much the deal with that. So after you've extracted your file, you can either close it out or you can minus it. It doesn't matter. Uh, so this is going to work in any of these templates, but... For the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to use base plate. So let it load in. Uh, you can also do this in a game that you already have. Like you can uh, import PBR textures. But yeah, I'm just going to do it here. Alright, so we're going to add a part. Unless you already have one, that's fine too. Uh... To scale, you go up here and press scale. I'm going to make it bigger just so y'all can see better. Alright. So make sure you have the part selected. And then we're going to go to material manager up here next to color. And the texture we downloaded was wood. So um, I'm going to go to wood. But if you did something like stone, you're going to go to the stone category in Material Manager. If you did rock, you're going to go to rock. If it doesn't fit any of these categories, go to special. But yeah, fabric, fabric, yeah. Uh, it doesn't matter which one, uh, which texture you pick. Because it's just going to override it and make its own... Well, not override it. It's going to create a copy, pretty much. You could override it if you wanted to, but I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Alright, so you click one of the textures that's already in there. After you have selected your part that you want to apply it to. And then you're going to press this plus button, create variant. And then see how it's going to create a new variant. And like I was saying, if you wanted to override the previous one, which I don't know why you would want to do that. You could just make a copy. You would set to override, but we're not going to do that. All right, so you're going to see down here, it has all these import buttons. So there's going to be four. There's going to be roughness, normal, metalness, and color. So we're going to import color. <laughs> Uh, that, the bark one, I did that earlier. Man. But for this one, I'm going to do wood. So color, if you're importing from ambient, uh, from ambient, it's going to have whatever texture, underscore, color, or underscore, metalness. So it shouldn't be confusing to find, like, which file it is. So this one's color, so we're going to do color. So you can see us in there. So this is a wood, so we're not going to import a metalness because this is a wood, and wood isn't metal, so, usually. 
But if you were doing a metal, yeah, you would press import and you would do the metal file. But for wood, we're not going to do that. Uh, normal, there's going to be there's going to be two normal files. There's going to be a DX and a GL. Um, from what I've seen, they do the same thing. So you can really pick either, but I do DX. All right, and the last one is roughness. So I'm going to import the one that says roughness. And I like ambient CG because it's really helpful and they put, they put which one it is. So it's easy to figure out. All right, so yeah, we've done, we've imported all the files. And now if you deselected the part you want to apply it to, reselect it. And then we're going to go up here. And next to this little garbage can, it's going to have this little clicky thing. It's going to press, or it's going to say apply to selected parts, and we're going to press that. And then they'll apply it to the part. All right, let me close this so y'all can see better. All right, it should take a minute to load in the shading and everything. All right, there we go. Yeah, this is our texture. And that's pretty much it. The videos and people saying that you have to use Blender to do all this and Blender to unzip all the files. You can unzip with Blender, but it's easier to just do it from your laptop, from the files. So yeah, that's it. I hope this helped y'all.